Hey guys, welcome to Odessa, Texas. Today we are in Stonehenge here in the United States. This is a one-for-one -one Stonehenge replica in Odessa, Texas. Come check it out. All right, guys, this is Stonehenge. Uh, well, as close as we're going to get here in the United States. This is quite phenomenal. I'm super excited about it. First, we're going to circle the whole thing and let you take a look at it. And then we're going to walk through it. These stones were placed to be an exact replica of the stone heads that we have as humans in Great Britain. But this one is in Texas. These are some heavy rocks. Wow. You know, I never thought we'd ever go to Stonehenge. I'm gonna use this part to walk through it. It looks like a cool part to walk through. Wow, so impressive. It really is. does this? Why would you do that? Type in their name in stone. Just like every human in history, it's kind of what we do as a species. <laughs> Hey guys, we are here with a fellow YouTuber, Dynamic Jasmine. If you see her, be sure to check out her videos. Huh? Take care. And be sure to check out her videos because she just went to Paris, Texas and checked out the Eiffel Tower. So be sure to check that out. So we're going to right now do a walk around around the entire Stonehenge. And the reason that we're doing it is so that I can do a little kind of fast forward intro of the whole thing. Just taking you around the country, showing you places and spaces. That's the, that's the gist of this channel. When you think about the timeline of what Stonehenge is, it is a labor of human love that goes over the course of thousands of years BC. It took humans this wasn't done overnight. In fact, it took humans multiple lifetimes, multiple generations to accomplish this. But modern humans can put this together in a year or so and make it a tourist attraction. If that doesn't tell you how much the human race has evolved and overcome, I don't know what will. Guys, welcome to West Texas. Can you believe it? They created a Stonehenge replica at the University of Texas of the Permian Basin. This is the Stonehenge replica, but it's sponsored by Texas Stone Quarries, and this is the history of Stonehenge. Although the exact date is unknown, it is widely believed the construction of Stonehenge began sometime after the last ice age, coinciding with the rise of the first civilization when people began domesticating animals and establishing agricultural production. 
Phase 1, 3100 to 2700 BC, it's marked as the construction of a large ditch, henge, or ring. Phase 2, 2700 to 2500 BC, includes the digging of 56 holes, the purpose of which is unknown. The heel stone is probably set during the period. Phase 3 is divided into three distinct sections. A phase 3, 2600 to 2500 BC, the Blue Storm Horseshoe, the inner ring, is constructed. Construction begins in the Sarsen Ring, outer ring, and the four external lunar stones are set. Phase 3 was from 2400 to 2300 BC. It's when the Sarsen Ring is completed. And then from 2200 to 1800 BC, the entire structure is completed. Over time, from 1800 BC to the present, various stones have fallen or been removed from the original stone edge. This is a replica of the structure as it appears today in England. This is the replica of stone edge. It's constructed from limestone. This is, it's constructed from limestone, a mineral from the calcium carbonate. The stones were quarried from the shallow marine crictress, despite deposits the, that crop out near Garden City, Texas, approximately 63 miles from the site. All right, so sorry about all that. It's basically, it's from Garden City, Texas. Late in the Cretaceous period, around 80 to 66 million years ago, an inland sea known as the Western Interior Seaway existed from Texas to Canada. In West Texas, this sea contained a variety of reef-building clams, rudistes, as well as oysters, snails, echinoderms, and ammonoids. Ammonoids, sorry about that. The stones used in this construction preserve whole and broken fragments of these organisms. Color variants are a result of the preservation of small amounts of iron contained in the mineral hermite and limite scattered throughout the rock. All right, for more information, be sure to check out UTPB Geology here in Odessa, Texas. I love that little rock up top. Just adds a little bit of flavor. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Stonehenge. I hope you come and check it out when you're in Odessa, Texas. It is 2022, June 2022. It's a beautiful day in paradise. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. All right guys, while we're here at Stonehenge, I wanted to talk to you about something. As I've been here in West Texas, it hasn't really made national news, but there is an extreme water shortage happening in this region of the country. From the hotels to the restaurants, I saw sorry closed for business due to water shortage. I saw we can only take so many occupants in this hotel due to water shortage. All the way to there's a sign on the bathroom asking you to please watch your flushes or not flush all the time because of a water shortage. The factory that I was here to see is also having trouble with water and has been drilling nonstop deeper and deeper to get water and the flow rates have been abysmal. I'm talking 15 gallons per minute, 25 gallons per minute, and if you look at the hardware that they're using to pull this water, that's a very low flow rate for the type of hardware that they're using. America is going through changes and you can see it all over, but more importantly, you can see that the world that we live in today is going to be very different than the world we live in tomorrow with these water shortages, as well as global climate and change. So take some time, relax, sit back, because I got a feeling the future is gonna look way different than it does today. So with that being said, that's just a little quick talk. Hope you've enjoyed uh, Odessa, Texas, and be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.